G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing. We specialise in guided tours throughout Victoria, but we also take groups to Alaska, Chile, bone fishing Christmas Island, and our most popular one, New Zealand. So if that's where you want to go, come in and see us at our stores in Bentley and Lumsden. There we go. Oh, nice one. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Whoop, 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 whoop. If I can uh, come back. <laughs> I said I'd stop before I got to my, my nostrils. Just as Daryl's, I mean, how many double hookups we've had on this Matara. And uh, so how big is he, Daryl? Just hold him up, can you, mate? Can't talk with his rod in his mouth. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful fish. Excellent. This one's a good solid fish from up the top of the pool. Yeah. Top one? Yeah. And uh, yeah, terrific fish. Just can't get sick of the Matara. Cannot get sick of the Matara. But you could. If you didn't like fishing, you'd probably get sick of the Matara, but I think we're pretty safe. Look at that. And that was the Hubert's red, exactly, Daryl. Like just that spent spinner imitation. Yeah. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, and I think, yeah, I mean, New Zealand, you just, I, I can't stop talking about it, I just love the place. Uh, the same as I love Tassie and the same as like all the, uh, the areas around Victoria and that as well are just magnificent. But um, here, the fish are just big. They get born about three pounds and grow bigger. And the water's just so clear. And you've got fish that do that all day. Yeah, you just have to love it. Magnificent. All you got to do is just just take your time. You got a sizable fish. He'll be, I don't know, have to be four and a half pounds. Nice reel. I just set the drag on it. And you don't have to worry about it. You know, you got good tippet, good flies. Of course, you got a good rod. That goes without saying. And uh, yeah, just let him tire himself out. We've got a fair while till Christmas, he's just getting a bit cheeky because he knows it's bigger. Just might put that net away for a sec. A good strong fish, you know, so he's not going to tire himself out instantly. Just got to wear him down. He's uh, an acrobat, this one. I don't, mate. Oh, no easy. I oh, don't. No. Working up to the top, we want that head up. And we'll go head first. And he's going to duck away. We got him in there. Ooh, he's a good fish. <laughs> oh dear, magnificent. 
Magnificent, magnificent. Two and a half pounds? Yeah. <laughs> uh, four and a half. Good. No rocks in there either, so four and a half pound. Fantastic fish, fantastic fish. Unbelievable. And uh, you can just see, if you can come in on there, they're just this, this Hubert's red. I did ask Daryl if there was a fly made that catches them all, and he goes, nah, otherwise you wouldn't go fly fishing. But that's getting pretty close. Hubert's red just works a treat when they're taken dries and when they're on the spent spinners and emerges. So that's just a great, a great fly. But uh, everyone has their, their perfect fly. I'll get him out, give you a quick look at him and get him back in. Hang on, matey. Let's be a sec. Stop biting. Ow. Oh. Drop it. There we go. Just stunning colours. Just the browns, golden and big. Just the start of that uh, hook jaw really coming into play there as well. Just amazing fish. Huge big tail, huge big tail, plenty of power. Just a brilliant way to uh, spend a bit of time in New Zealand catching these. Magnificent. So that's the that's the spent. That's a spent spinner. spinner. So that's um, it's laid its eggs, obviously, and it's spent on the water. And um, that's about a size size 16, size 18 mayfly. Ready coloured body, very glassy, clear wings. True signs of a uh, of a mayfly spinner. That's interesting. If you just hold that, like Hubert's. Red and uh, you've got a, a pattern very similar, and this is like um, sorry, is quite similar, but this is probably a little bit too big, which is what you were saying. Yeah. But very similar to a fish. You know, sometimes they'll take it, sometimes they'll, they'll want something a bit smaller. It's just a bit smaller. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. yep. But that's pretty representative of what. what yes. Fish are taking, yeah. Yeah. You know? And sometimes when they get really fussy, they'll feed on a particular stage of the insects life cycle you know yes and they won't take anything else you could throw a nymph you yeah. can throw a dun throw a spinner on them but if they're taking an emerger yeah yeah forget it it's got to be that that's what you got to put in front of them sure yeah 